Hi, I'm Darren from Blackmagic Design, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a picture-in-picture -picture using the DVE feature of your ATEM switcher. A picture-in-picture -picture is a way of overlaying one of your video sources on top of another video source so you can view them both simultaneously. And that's set up using the ATEM software control. Now within ATEM software control, you're going to want to go across to the palettes tab. And from here, select your upstream key one. Here, you just need to make sure that the DVE is selected. DVE, or digital video effect, is how we set up a picture in picture. Now the first thing I want to do is go across to my next transition block. By turning on the key one in this button here, this will allow us to preview the picture in picture without actually bringing it live to air, meaning we can refine it before the audience sees the picture in picture. So that's selected, and as you can see, immediately a picture in picture has appeared on the multi-view output. What we can do here is choose what source we want to be in the picture in picture. So we can jump between our different camera sources, and view the different options that we have. In this instance, I want to have our singer overlaid on top of our pianist. In this instance, however, the position of the picture in picture isn't quite where I want it to be. So I want to use our X and Y sliders to reposition the singer. I also want to make this slightly larger so that I can see all of the detail in that image. Now it might be the case that I want to actually crop the top, bottom, left or right of my picture in picture and I can do so simply by entering a value in the top, left, bottom or right areas of the mask option. So let's go ahead and make some changes here. For example I might want to crop the right hand side I can take a little bit off that side. I'm going to do the same on the left hand side as well. And as you can see, immediately the picture in picture box has been cropped and is slightly smaller because she takes up only the right hand side of that box. Also, with a picture in picture, you might want to add a border. So if I highlight the border option here, I can then choose a color from here. I want to choose perhaps blue in this instance and hit OK. And as you can see, my border color has changed. I then have options to refine the outer width and the inner width of that border. I can soften that a little bit as well, just until I'm happy with the look. And I can also change the opacity. Once I'm happy with my border settings, I can then go on to change the keyframe options. Now the keyframe options allow me to set two different positions for the picture in picture. So now I'm happy with this position, I'm gonna set this as keyframe A. I'm gonna go back up to the positions up here and I'm gonna set a new position and set this to be keyframe B. Now what I can do is use the run to options and run to A and run to B at whatever transition rate is set over here. So if I'd like that to be slower, I can change that to three seconds and then run to A and once again, run to B. And as you can see there, it's a much slower transition rate. Once I'm happy with everything that I've set with my picture in picture, we're now ready to bring this live. And we've got a couple of options to do this. We can either use the on air button, which will bring the source on air immediately, like so. Or if we don't want to do that, we can simply use the auto transition for the switcher and press the auto button here. And as you can see, the picture in picture transitions on air along with the transition that's set for the ATEM at the time. We also have the option to use the hardware control if we're working with ATEM SDIs or ATEM minis. And we can simply use the on off button for the picture in picture, which is selected on the picture in picture options just here. 
So that's a really easy and simple way to set up a picture-in-picture, -picture, allowing you to overlay one of your sources on top of another source using your ATEM switcher. If you do need any further information, please do visit our website at www.blackmagicdesign.com.